And this is Cumber Town Square. Big monument in the centre, which I'll tell you about in a minute or two. And Cumber is noted uh, because it's near uh, Strangford Lock here. For uh, it's noted for its wildlife. Uh, down at Castle Espe and, and all the rest with seals and ducks and so much more. I'm just panning on round then. I'm standing in the in the centre of the square here at the war memorial and the, the other big uh, memorial to this man uh, Gillespie. Robert Ro Rolo Gillespie. There's a name for you. And he was um, a major general, so the plaque says and Knight Commander of the Most Honourable Military Order of Bath, born in Cumber, 1766, and uh, was killed at Kalunga, October 1814. I presume that's in, uh, in India. And uh, his comrades must have thought a lot of him because this was built by funds raised by them. And this is the uh, the town war memorial. A lot of boys from Cumber went off to uh, the First World War and unfortunately lost their lives. And the, the plaques on each uh, side are actually full of names. But uh, I'm just coming over to the memorial that has been added here in memory of all those you have made the supreme sacrifice since World War II and I noticed down at the left hand side this has been added in. And I remember this young girl uh, being killed. It's only three years ago, Corporal Channing Day, 24th of October 2012, Afghanistan. And it's fitting that um, this should have been added onto this commemoration stone. And this is a further memorial um, at Cumber. Uh, many people don't realise that um, Thomas Andrews of Cumber, uh, 1873 to 1912, who oversaw the plans for the design of the ship, uh, he died when this Titanic went down and uh, this is just a wee memorial there's the White Star Lane and there's uh, there's audio tours run from here um, Cumber Andrews Titanic Trail uh, Thomas Andrews Jr. is one of Cumber's most famous sons managing director and chief designer at Balfour's Harland and Wolf Shipyard. He see, designed some of the largest ships in the world then. And they, he designed the Titanic. The Andrews family influence on Cumber has been immense. Um, I know. And there's the information on that cobbled hound that I was telling you about. Some say it's to remember uh, Master McGrath, some say it's just a, a typical hunting scene. I don't know. So, Cumber. Hi. And uh, there's another plaque outside here I want to see. Cumber's industry, and there was a lot of linen went on, linen production went on there, and there was 
cucumber or whiskey, which I didn't know about. And of course, uh, Thomas Andrews is mentioned up here. So there you go. Cucumber, nice market town. And a lot of nice eateries on it as well. Come and see it for yourself. Nice enough. And I'm standing uh, in Cumber Square, uh, looking at the footpath here. There's a, a scene in the mosaic, made of a, of a mosaic here. And it's a hunting scene. And there you see the, uh, in the mosaic, the, the, the guy waving on to his dog ahead. And further along here, you can actually see the shape of a hound. And further along, you can see the hair that it is presumably chasing. Now, some people say that this is just a typical hunting scene, but uh, other people say that this uh, this dog is actually commemorating the famous Master McGrath uh, Greyhound. I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine.